Today marks one year since Hamas militants killed more than 1,000 Israeli and Palestinian people in one of the deadliest terror attacks Israel has ever seen. Backed by a barrage of rockets, Hamas took hundreds of hostages, many of them still in their control. The attack sparked a now year-long war with no end in sight. The war's impact continues to be felt worldwide and here at home. As Ali Root reports, both pro-Palestinian protesters and supporters of Israel are taking a stand here in Lexington, calling for a ceasefire. One year ago, 1,200 people were slaughtered in what is considered the deadliest attack in Jewish history since the Holocaust. And Hamas continues to hold hostages. 101 hostages are still being held in Gaza today, including five Americans. In the time that's passed, Israel has ramped up its offensive in Gaza with aid from the U.S. government. This has led to many pro-Palestine protests. Monday evening, University of Kentucky students held a vigil in honor of Palestinians who've been killed. Innocent civilians are being murdered, thousands and thousands of innocent civilians. And so it's important that you take a stand against injustice. Um, it's not just for Arabs or Palestinians or Muslims to take a stand. It's for anyone who cares about human lives. Take a stand and say we don't stand for the murder of thousands of innocent civilians. We see that this imperialism not only is asserted outward onto these innocent people, but it's asserted onto us who live in within the U.S. and our families. Vigil organizers say they are calling for U.S. government officials to cut ties with Israel as they believe disarming its military will help end the war. Our tax dollars are funding what's taking place. So it's important that you make yourself aware of what's taking place and you um, speak up for what you want your tax dollars to actually contribute to. Rabbi Shlomo Litvin with the Kentucky Jewish Council says rallies like this are examples of anti-Semitism that cannot be ignored. Praising the terrorists who rape and slaughter their way across Israel is an act of evil. It is like the rallies at Nuremberg. It is like the rally in Charlottesville. And the fact that we cannot as a society condemn it shows that our society is lacking extremely morally and as a community. Rabbi Litvin says a ceasefire will likely only happen by releasing the hostages and disarming Hamas. But regardless, he says the Jewish community is no longer intimidated. I think the fact that as we said, new centers are opening, new programs are opening. Students are standing up prouder than ever, saying, I am Jewish, I am proud of my Judaism, and I share my light with others, I think is a note of extreme positivity for the future and for the future of our culture. In Lexington, Allie Root, Fox 56 News.